All right, today's Friday. I went to about like maybe six, seven sales, I don't know. Um, and I only spent $84 today, and I got a lot of good bargains. Um, did I get anything like amazing? No, I don't think so, but I did get some good stuff. You know what? No video games, guys, so if that's what you're into, goodbye. Hopefully uh, tomorrow, the next video, you catch me there. Oh, by the way, let me give a shout-out to AJ. He's going to be in the North Bergen uh, JC Flea Market tomorrow. And if you want to know what that is, uh, just go to JC Promotions website. If you can't figure that out, just contact me. I'll give you the heads up. All right, let's let's just get into eighty four dollars. Um, I'll start with the jewelry. I'll tell you one thing: everything was a good bargain. I was going to make a decent amount of money on this stuff when I sell it. Of course, it doesn't. Uh, I don't just buy stuff and it automatically sells. Uh, check this out: just a cat pen, kind of cute, right? Two bucks. Uh, this one, um, it's a big snowflake crystal pen. Guess who made it? I would have never guessed it, but. Monet. Uh, my wife's going to either put that online or sell it at the flea market. It all depends. If she can't get 10 bucks for that at a flea market, it'll go online. Here's just a nice enamel pen. She likes these. <coughs> Pardon me. I would say... Oh, and guess, guess who made this? This is another Monet. It's funny. It, it must be later Monet because it doesn't look like the Monet we're used to seeing. There it is right on the back. So That's another one. I know. Maybe she got a lot of, a lot of Monets. Don't know. This one doesn't say anything. It has nobody's name on it, but it was nice. I think it was like two bucks. My wife likes these kinds of necklaces with the dangles, so she bought this. And oh, it's got oh, it's JJ. Uh, that um, if you're not familiar with JJ, that maker, that's for um, I believe it's pronounced Jeanette Jewelry. And there it is. It's something unusual. Usually uh, Jeanette makes pins. Uh, this is probably the, the uh, I'm going to say this is definitely the most valuable piece of all the jewelry that we got today. Uh, why? Who made it? Oops, dropped it. Uh, if you don't recognize that Swan Hallmark, that's Swarovski. And this is legit Swar Swarovski. This isn't like when you go on eBay and you type in Swarovski pin and 50,000 things come up because they say, well, we use the finest Swarovski, Swarovski crystals to make our jewelry. No, this was made by Swarovski. All right, that's the jewelry. Let me do this perfume. This is a Gap scent, established in 1969. I guess that's when they established the Gap. This perfume is probably not that old, but it probably does have some age. I don't really go into the Gap anymore, but I'll tell you one thing about the Gap. The Gap is freaking expensive, so I imagine this eau de toilet, and it looks mostly filled, would probably be 30 40 something dollars if I went into the Gap and bought it. Uh, guess how much I paid for this? If you guessed a dollar, you're right. So that's that. I'll just put on eBay. Whatever it sells for, it sells for. Uh, check this out. This is a emergency crank radio. You crank it, and it, it's a power generator. So it provide it creates electricity, and uh, it has a little light on it. Blah 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 blah. That's for me. I'm going to use it in the car. You know what? Let me show the other. You know what? Let me show the stuff I'm going to keep. I'm going to do keep life, and then I'll do this glass. If you like glass, maybe I can teach you something. <sighs> Joby Gorilla Pod. I don't know, you know, it was it was twenty four ninety five, marked down twenty one ninety five. Guess how much I paid for it? I'll give you a hint. I paid the same price as this, just one dollar. Can't beat that. All right, uh, let me do the clothes quick because this is keep life. Unless my daughter doesn't want these jackets. Um, this jacket is a uh, up country. Never heard of it, but it's kind of neat. And man, the lady at the yard sale that I was buying this from, she was salty. She was like, and look at the back. Isn't that cool? You know, on a dollar, man. That's a good price. Oh, five dollars, good price. So anyway, I'm, I go and I take the clothes to her, right? And I'm like, hey, how much are these? Right, because I, I bought the Gap jacket. I bought all the clothes off her. And she's like, oh, <laughs> like I already pissed her off, right? And I'm like, hey, how much are these? But I, I, she was already on edge. Uh, so she goes, well... This was supposed to be 15. No, she goes, that was supposed to be 15. This was supposed to be 5. And this was supposed to be 8. But uh, I don't care anymore. F just give me $5 a piece. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, really? Um, and I was actually hoping she was going to say $5 a piece. And I would go, would you take 10 for the three? But after that, I'm like, no, no, I'll just piss her off. And she also had a coach bag that I'm like, hey, how much is the purse at the end? Right? And she goes, well, that's a coach right? You don't even, you're not going to buy that. You don't want to know. And, and I'm like this. I'm like, no, you know, I might buy it. Just tell me, you know, and then either I'll buy it or I won't. She goes, well, I want 25 for that. I'm like, okay. You know, so the wife looks at it 
and she she looks at it careful and she thinks about it and she goes, you know, we don't really buy purses for resale, you know, and at 25 for a coach, nah, I'm not putting it on eBay, I can't deal with that crap. So we wind up uh, looking at it careful and Marie says, eh, it's got a few things here and you know what, I don't want to, I'd rather have the money buy something else. And the lady didn't pissed off or anything, you know, but it, I mean, we might have bought it, so why, why approach it with that attitude, you know. Oh, and then she complained about kids for a while. <laughs> she was like, these kids today, they don't do anything, they're this. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, what do you want? Yeah. Anyway, um, that's a nice Lauren denim jacket. I don't know if it's going to uh, fit my kid. It might be a little bit big. If she doesn't want it, hey, five bucks, man. Can't beat that. What do we got here? <clears throat> that's also Ralph Lauren. Uh, I guess it's like, what do you call it, tablecloth uh, plaid? There's a, uh, there's a name for this stuff. I'm just going to say plaid, but, you know, that's pretty nice, right? That was $5. And this is for me. This is just a nice gera uh, generic. I almost said Jurassic, it sounded like. Generic, kind of um, light fall type coat. Uh, this is made for Gap, uh, by Gap. So, if I were to buy this at a store, I might have paid like 75 to 100 for it. What did I pay? Five bucks. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's do the glass. And then I'll be... No, you know what? Let's do this first. And then I'll be done. Not a long video today. Oh, live hunting. If you like live hunting stuff, um, check out... I'm not going to put it on this because I just want to get this up. Uh, check out the Scummy Resellers. Uh, channel because I'm going to put up a couple of videos today and after where I talk about the stuff I get um, I'll put the live hunting with that okay all right anyway food dogs these are marble these are pretty damn nice huh I went to an estate sale I bought these are like 10 bucks this has a weird X why? I don't know. It's got some weird. What is that? Look at that. That's that's some kind of weird signature. Somebody carved that into the bottom. Let's just see if it's on the other one. Yeah, it is. See, okay, this must be some kind of Asian Chinese sim, uh, symbol for something. Or, but these are nice, right? You know what? I'm not good at this stuff. I don't really know what it's worth. Um, but I only paid ten bucks for it. I know it's worth more than ten bucks. I might show it to a friend of mine. He'll help me out on this. This probably isn't worth that much. Uh. Maybe it's, oh, okay, I'm pretty sure it's Imperial Glass. I don't know if you can see the Hallmark. So this would probably be a later uh, Carnival Glass type bowl. Uh, it's got roses in it, and it's, I think they call this Marigold's Flash. What do I think this is worth? I don't know. I'll probably get like uh, 10 to $25 for it. This is embossed. It has a satin finish. Maybe this is like a Cambridge or something. I'm not really sure. But it was only 5 bucks. So I always want to take a, a chance on it. This is like uh, just a large pitcher. It's not Blanco. It could be uh, Pilgrim. The lady had a lot of Pilgrim glass in the house. This has an optic design on the inside. Green glass. It was only five bucks. You know, I could put it in the showcase. I, you know, that's. It's. I'll make money on that. You know, even even if they only want to give me ten dollars. You know. It was only 10 bucks, and it's nice and big. I should put something like that for like 20 35 Maybe I'll put it in my showcase for 20 depending on how much room. Uh, this is an Amberina picture. There's a chance this could be a Blanco, but it's, it's not a very stylish one. Five bucks, you know, I went with the cheap price. Even if I sell it for a miserably low price at a flea market, I'm getting more than five bucks. No, screw that crap. This is the mystery piece for me. And it has a label, which would normally be nice, except most of the lettering on it's rubbed off. I'll try and um, take a loop and figure it out what it is. This one's probably going to sit on my shelf until I figure it out. I don't know if it's supposed to have a stopper. Probably, you know, but it's definitely a nice piece. I paid five bucks for it. it gives me something to do, try and figure that crap out. Um, this, out of all the glass I got today, is probably the, the most valuable piece, you know. And it's just, it's a cranberry... Uh, usually it's like an oil lamp design and they made it electric or it was just electric and they just made it look like an oil lamp. Um, what do I think I'm going to get for this? You know, at a flea market I would get 35 to 50 and I might just put it in my showcase for somewhere in that range. It's like that weird item, you know, a lot of people don't really decorate with this, but it was only 10 bucks, right? Uh, and the only flaw it has is, is this. 
you know. I mean, I, it might actually have some teeny uh, weeny little uh, nicks and stuff on this glass in here, because that's usually what happens. Like, the top looks pretty clean. I don't see anything wrong with it, right? And on the bottom, you know, they polish it, and then there's like little nicks and stuff like that, but that stuff is forgiven in most cases. Um, yeah, like I said, 10 bucks, whatever. Anyway, that's everything I got today. Uh, check out my friends' channels, uh, Nas Nostalgic. I'll do my shout outs now. Uh, AJ ASAP Zonk, Video Gamer Damaro. Check out the Scummy Resellers. I posted a video today that I think you'll find, I'm going to post a video there that I think you'll find quite humorous. You know, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, then I'll also put underground hunting uh, footage. Uh, other people I'd like to give a special mention to, a shout out. I'll do Thrift Hunter, uh, Nevermore Antiques. I'll do uh, Living, um, Living the Good Life, uh, Picking for Treasures with Sherman. Um, I'll do Scrap and Pallet Man. I'll do uh, Angry Steve, even though he doesn't post anything. And then everybody else, you know I like you. Every once in a while, I'll mention your channel. Um, tomorrow, look for AJ at, uh, there's a, a flea market in North Bergen. It's in a park. Uh, if you need to know how to get there, just check out the JC Promotions website or contact me. I'll give you the heads up if you're looking for video games and stuff like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye. I am out of here. Just a note, when you when you go to a garage sale, you park your babies in the street. That's where you hold the parking spot with the babies. Instead of putting them on the sidewalk or in, in the nice grass. See, there's grass over there. Oh, there's plenty no, of places no, no. to put a baby. But you leave the babies, and there's two in there, and they're parked in the street. You can wipe out the whole family in one shot. But no, I, I, if I needed to hold a parking spot, I would definitely leave babies there. No, it's then... like ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> then nobody's going to play. It's like, there might be babies in that carriage. Diapers! I would, yeah, it's serious. Dyfe is on speed dial. But it would be like. <laughs> she got me so upset by that that I, I, I forgot to put in the next. Sale. No, but seriously, though, if you saw a baby carriage in a parking spot, you would, you know, like, okay, you know how in the winter people shovel out their, their parking spots and they don't want anybody you to take it? Just leave a baby there? Just leave a baby carriage. You don't even have, you could put, you don't even have to put a real baby. You put like dolls and stuff in there. You know, because, and people would be like, oh, I can't do that. And you'd even feel like you'd be like a chair. Screw that crap. I'm gonna go grab that chair and just throw it out of the way, right? But a baby carriage, you'd be like, uh, what if the babies are sleeping? I don't wanna wake them, you know? <laughs> Terrible parents, Terrible parents. Babysitter. That, oh, do you think babysitter? That was a babysitter or a uh, grandma. Oh, or... there you go. Well, a grandma might not do that. You would think that, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I bet you it's a babysitter. Babysitter's like, ah, they got two kids. <laughs> it's like if it's nature they have a spare. they'll survive <laughs> you know what i mean that's why uh in nature that wild animal has a litter you know and they have a bunch of babies so like if say like only 10 percent of them survive there's always something to the progeny on <laughs> anyway that's enough of that